I'm home. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful Barbados. All the sounds from yesteryears bring back sweet memories. We, I enjoy that kind of music. So, what I would say, unfortunately, we don't hear it more regularly, yes. but that means a lot to me. Um, I don't think anywhere else can beat Barbados. I've only been out to the island once in just the Caribbean, uh -huh. but it to get but back Barbados home. Barbados is home. Barbados, Barbados will amazing. always be home. Yeah. I, I work on the beach and I promote Barbados for the last 30 oh, years. Barbados, nice, but yeah. Because I never left Barbados. Uh -huh. So it's like my work, my job is to promote Barbados. Mm -hmm. And let everybody know how sweet and how beautiful Barbados is, right? It definitely is. So, for the last 20 years, 25 years, everybody's called me Beige, from Hindi to Beige. Ah. My, call, my name is Henderson. Okay. So, Jenna and Candia, tell us a bit about your, your favorite Beige dishes. Cuckoo and flying fish. For sure. And you, Candia? Yeah, I totally so Tommy, give me a give me a quick rundown now. You know I'm a I'm a bit younger. Yes, so, of course. Now, just a bit, just yeah. a little bit. But so, mama used to cook. Like we have our good food on Sundays, uh -huh. which is big pork, always big pork, mm -hmm. or uh, big beef. It wasn't too much chicken then, mm -hmm. you know. But in the week would be sardine, corn beef, you know, that kind of load stuff. But Sunday used to be a big meal. Yes, always. What, where do you think that came from, this whole thing of every Sunday I must have a big meal? Well, that is how we were so poor. So at least, mommy should try to give us something good. Ah, Sundays. nice. That is well, a that good thing. Well, that's why you the biggest sardine, you know? So and then on Sunday. Fish, right, was mm -hmm. a proper mm -hmm. lunch. Yes, nice. The veggies and, you know? Because it still goes on today, yeah, you know? It's like, yeah. it's for certain, every bedroom must have a big meal for, for Sunday, man. Can we see our culture come to life? Mm -hmm. Like, our past, I ain't see, you can see now, like, you know, in the I ain't see a lot of different things, our culture and what's not. So if you could, and, and sell a snow cone, if you pro to be a bitch, sell a snow cone, you know, because this is our thing. Be, exactly. It's our it thing, you know what I'm saying? If you pro at the bedroom, do 100%, 100% bitch, 100% snow cone, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. If you pro, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And it's hot nowadays, just so everybody yeah, it's true, snow cones yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, a lot of tourists that come and see our history and what's not, and most not going to sell. Mm -hmm. you, know you have any ideas to how it came about? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know. And here, about black, there was a sh shave ice. Mm -hmm. We had a block ice, and then had um, like um, a shave ice. Just shave at this point in the cup. But now, technology step up, as you yeah. see. So they got a great ice now. So I think I'll be in a beer and selling snow cones, saying like 100% beer gin. Do you remember as a child growing up, you know your fondest memory? Uh, flake ice. I make a flay steak. Flay steak. What, what exactly is a flay steak? A flay steak with about 12 pieces of steaks. Mm -hmm. And um, a piece of card, lay it on, mm -hmm. lay it on card in the middle of it. Uh -huh. So you will like put like feed or anything in the middle. Uh -huh. So when the bird going to pick your feed, oh, you put it straight there. Oh, nice, it, nice. It. As a Bajan growing up, what was it like? Tell me something quickly, your fondest memory as a Bajan growing up. Well, I was always, I was a Bajan from, from, from birth to now. Uh-huh. And what was your fondest memory? Tell me something about your childhood, I mean, in terms of games you played, places I, you went. I, I didn't play no games. You didn't play no I, games? No, I didn't play no games. <laughs> My mother died early and I had to do everything home. Oh, and home, so, so you became the, 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 the person that took care of everybody at home? Yes. yes I, I had another good. younger brother than me and my father. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. You know, you raised some wonderful babies, yes? Yes, yes, yes. And, you, and thank you so much for, um, you know, telling us a bit about your, your lifestyle and your turnovers that you love. Yeah? Yes. All right. Okay. Right. Helene said, the best turnovers are the inside turnovers. Those are the ones that come, that are a bit right in the middle. So I am going to try it right now and put it to the test. I love my turnovers regardless, but let's try inside turnover. <laughs> she was right. She was definitely right. Yeah? Very good. What's your fondest memory growing up, you know, in terms of like food saying, you know, right about during the summer vacation, because everybody loves when the summer vacation come around. Yeah, you know, roast enough bird food to eat enough of my exactly. birds. Exactly. You know, you see gooseberries no more, but you used to That's pick so gooseberries true. and make gooseberry syrup, you know, they can't taste. And time brain syrup, of course. Yeah, oh, yeah. they can't taste. I like, I like the climbing trees part, because you guys sit there in the tree yeah. and just eat full it's and then leave from there. Beautiful foliage and anthem, and if we really take it literally, we be a better nation. It is pride and industry. Yeah. yeah. It, it really is. Um, be say a few, say a few for me. From, huh? you know, say a few, <laughs> few lines for the answer for me. Let me hear. Let me try to you know pull up some of the information from it. 
like in plenty and in time of need, when this fair land was young. Our great forefathers saw the sea. Oh, you finish it. <laughs> <laughs> from which our nation is from. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> pride. <laughs> You're right. When you think about it, it definitely does. It, yeah, it, it is one strong. of the best in the world. It is strong. It yes, is very, very strong. strong. And if we were, and exactly. we should really build on what our four parents have left for exactly. us. Exactly. You know. Very true. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's 95. Clear. I found it the same the 21st of March. I've been 96. That is amazing. And you're going strong. And Jesus did. That's very true. Is that I was there on the night at the. Uh, the garrison. I was there at a minute to midnight when the two people went out, one to raise the flag and the other one to lower the British flag. I was part of the cadet of Barbados then and we saw when midnight came the flag of Barbados was unfurled mm -hmm. and we always remember that dramatic moment when midnight struck the new flag was at the top of the flagpole and the lights were turned off and then five seconds later they were turned on and you saw what uh, Peter Ram calls blue, yellow mm -hmm. and black, put it up. So that was the first time that it would have been seen? Of course, oh, that, that was must the first have been time amazing. it was and people screamed as though it was a Lil Rick uh, concert. concert or if they had just won Lotto, yes. <laughs> you know. And people cried. They cried. Right. So uh, yes, mind. one felt a tickling in the throat. And of course, Prime Minister Barrow and Governor General Sir John Stowe, in that iconic photograph, mm -hmm. clasped hands above it. Oh, okay. And there was a. Uh, Barrow's head was silhouetted in fireworks. Mm -hmm. And best of all, you heard the police band for the first time publicly. Wow. And everybody, without any prompting, rose to their feet and wow. sang the national anthem for the first time. That is. That's an imperishable memory. Amazing.